Okay, folks, it's Pastor Center again. We got a little project for our, as you noticed, my bleached out pair of uh, mono black made in China. They turned out a lot better. I'm going to start adding some trinkets to them, I call it, uh, like some studs and some spikes and chains and all kinds of goodies. I'm sure you folks will enjoy this show. Uh, as you can see, my, my, uh, my uh, bleaching job turned out all right once everything dried out, and uh, we're going to be doing this kind of stuff today. You see, I put a star where the old, the old Chuck Taylor star used to be, and put one on the toe. Of this one so far, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be showing you today. Um, also, we're going to be putting some spikes on. I got a little kit. I. I have. I'll show that to you here in a minute. But uh, hope you enjoy the show today for uh, the, the con artist. I call myself the con artist. Been customizing chucks for over 25 years now, and I just want to share some secrets with you kids. I know you all love them, and I've loved them for about 30 years now, and I just want to pass on my knowledge to younger folks. And at the same time, share my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with you. You know, He died for you, and He loves you, and wants you to be in His family. So, just pay close attention to what's going on here today, and uh, hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Okay, folks, as you notice, I got myself a new camera, and uh, we're going to try to get better at uh, aiming things so you can see what's going on. In the past, I've been not doing a very good job at that, but you got to bear with me. I'm new to YouTube. As you can see, i got a bunch of D-rings here, and i got these D-rings off a pair of shoes I got at the thrift store for $5, like Goodwill or... Salvation Army. We have Deseret Industries here in Utah owned by the Mormon Church, but uh, I'm not getting into that. As you can see, I took most of them off already, and I used my Dremel tool. I just want to share with you how easy it is to take these off if you have one of these tools. And uh, always make sure you wear these, you know, safety glasses. Notice where mine are made, huh? Made in USA. Good old UVEX Patriots here. They're they're antiques, probably. People think they're out of style, but, you know, I support my folks as much as I can. So, here's my little kit full of spikes and stuff. I got all these, all these little spikes and everything. I buy them by the gross off eBay for a lot cheaper than you can buy them individually. And I got uh, a bunch of stars and more stuff in here. I just... Kind of keep a little kit together. I got screws, a little pair of vice grips in case I need them for something. A little screwdriver. I think I got that in my pocket. But uh, anyways, I'm going to start taking this apart for you just so you can see how easy it is to get these out. And I suggest you do this outside in ventilation or out in the garage or something because this is leather. This little Dremel tool will cause it to start smoking and smell like somebody's branding in here. But the easiest way, as you can see, I kind of messed up and did some of them on the outside, but it's a lot easier to do it from the inside. So I take a, just grind that out of there. A little holder that holds it in place. Last 
one side of this pair, this whole one side, it only took me that little bit of time. But as you can see, we got a bunch of D-rings there now. We don't need all that other stuff. But we do need those. Now I'm going to show you how to put these spikes on. And uh, you need some super glue for that, so I'll be right back. I got that in a different kit. Okay, I found my super glue. You've got to have that because that holds your... And my little screwdriver I was telling you about that I keep in my kit. Got to have that super glue to help hold these, keep these spikes in there forever. I've had in the past where they come apart. But uh, some people like to put these through the canvas and everything. I kind of like the, I don't, this is an idea I came up with. I've never seen nobody else do this. The first one. And I want to share it with you, but I always like to take uh, these spikes and uh, stick, them, stick them in the, with these eyelets here, these uh, D-rings for your laces. And uh, you got to put a little dot of super glue in that hole so that screws stay in there for good. Uh, just a little drop is all you got to have. You got to hurry with this super glue. It'll tend to lock up on you real quick. You don't hurry. You can always make sure you got your D-rings straight, straightened out there. Where you want them to where you can get your laces in them. See that? You got a D-ring with a, a spike right there. Pretty simple process. I'm going to use a different D-ring at the top. I'm going to stick a chain on it, so I'm going to use these uh, tungsten looking, they're made out of brass, but they're just plated to look like tungsten or some kind of burnt metal or whatever. They're black. Kind of goes good with my shoes. Lord bless me with a good pair of shoes for this. The DI is what we have here in Utah. It's a thrift store owned by the Mormon Church that they donate all the proceeds to the handicapped folks and I I like them for doing that but uh, even though we do disagree on a few things but you know they're still good people I love everybody the Lord wants us to love all of each other the same you know but uh, that one's getting tight now the super glue's taking effect as you can see we're getting some spikes in them shoes now uh, these spikes are about a dollar a piece if you buy them <coughs> individually. Same with these D-rings. You're looking at about a dollar a piece for this stuff, but I buy my I buy uh, my spikes in bulk. I buy them just right off eBay for like 20 bucks for a hundred of them. And the D-rings I used to, I was able to find them on eBay for a while for about the same price, but I can't find this style of D-ring anymore, so. I usually just hit the local thrift stores, uh, yard sales, whatever, for work boots or whatever that usually has these type D rings in them for the parts. And I just rob them out of them shoes. I figure, you know, $5 for a pair of shoes that I got 24 D rings, that's a pretty good deal considering just a little bit of work you got to do with them. But uh, as you can see, I'm starting to get spikes and the D rings and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off for time's sake and then get back with you in a short moment. <laughs> 